I may have a little issue in my garage door opening. Let me just show you what happens here. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Stupid plastic. Well, it, what happened is, let's just let it run. That's not gonna hurt nothing. I couldn't get it off. I went halfway up and it broke off of there. And it, well, it got bent off the track. So I took a hammer and beat the shit out of it and got it shut. Can't believe it's trying to move. But anyway, I stuck some rebar in there so nobody could get in. Um, you don't need that stuff. But uh, yeah, she's pretty shot. The door's shot. Everything's shot. So uh, I don't put my vehicle inside anyway because, well, I'm catching fire. I'm surprised it's still running. Oh, now it's not anymore. So yeah, it's bent there. Uh, so I wanted to go combining today, and yeah. So that's pretty much done. So I'll stick another rebar on the other side and uh, lock her shut for the winter uh, so nobody gets in my house, you know. But it's kind of uh, disgusting, you know. But I mean, what do you do, you know? Put it in the right way. But let's just burn this motor out. You don't need a motor. Take that LED light out. That's worth some money. You better take that out. Now that thing's worth something that you know, I'm kind of care less about. You don't need no garage door opener. Alright, so. Oh, I'm surprised it's still trying. Anyway, it's not going to open up with that rebar there anyway. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go there. So. Yeah, I need a new garage door there, and I need a new garage door over here. This one looks pretty tough. Uh, the contractor did it so it looked tough, and I think so too. But I don't need no vehicle underneath the house because I don't want no fire, so. Yeah, you never know. Electrical. Oh, girlfriend's vehicle is dripping oil. You don't need no oil. <laughs>